Girl, look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I want to talk about in this reaction video, I want to really shine a light on the promiscuity among our women of color, especially those in my community. I want to really talk about it from how they engage in it quicker than their white counterparts at an early age, starting from their adolescent years and then progress into the adult years. You dig? So let me go ahead and get into it, and I will be providing, I will be providing statistical data as well in this video. Give me a second as so I put it on your screen, y'all. I want you to hear what this lady got to say to you. Can you dig it? All right, now. Let's get it. Scientists have been able to prove that every single man that a woman sleep with, she, she loses her ability to a pair bond. And the crazy thing is that men can sense this, sense a woman's promiscuity more likely to be turned off and not attracted to that woman long term. And the reason that they're turned off by it is because pre-DNA tests, it was pretty much programmed into men to be repulsed by the idea of potentially carrying another man's child. So because you could- Exactly. No man wants to carry another man's child into his life. No man. It's nature. It's biology. Men do not want to take care of other men's children. We're going to keep going deeper and stuff, but like she said, like we already know, women lose their ability to connect. Women lose their ability to attach themselves. Women lose their ability to pair bond with a man, be, he, be it a good man or a bad man. It don't matter. Every time she opens her eye, uh, excuse me, every time she opens her thighs to a man, she makes it difficult for her to actually fall in love with a man. She makes it almost impossible for her to be rooted in a relationship because she doesn't have so many different men in her. Men and women are different. Men can sleep with all kinds of women and don't get that emotional attachment or have that type of bond with a woman. But a woman, but a woman, I don't know why I'm stumbling. Please forgive me, y'all. But in order for a man to sleep with a woman, he has to get into her mind. If you get into a woman's mind, it's easy to get into her soul, into her spirit, into her emotions, to the part where it would trigger that natural innate instinct to want to be with that man. And then it don't work out. Now she heartbroken. Now she got a trauma bun. So every trauma bun she gets, it makes it difficult for her to really connect to a man who means her well. You understand what I'm saying? Let's keep going. Sorry about the stumbling, y'all. It's been a hard day. You could not test if, if the child was actually your child. You're pretty much programmed to only choose women who have a very low body count or are virgin. And although most men and women, I'll say, don't even know about this information, you see it all throughout society when men are constantly saying, we don't like <laughs> okay? Sorry to be vulgar, but we prefer women with lower body counts. We don't care about the fun girl who wants to go out and show her ass and tits on, on that app. And women just don't care because of this whole feminist movement. And so it's really sad to see so many women who are so promiscuous nowadays. It's, it's just really sad, actually. They are becoming a liability to themselves. Like, if you actually want a long-term partner, you're going to get left behind the more promiscuous that you are. It's not because some surface level oh it's a double standard like no they're programmed not to like you so yeah i'm really hoping that we can normalize modesty again and helping these young girls out because it's a shit show i like how she said that um men are programmed not to like it it's biology no man wants to i know my signal messing up is raining out here man but anyway no man wants to be with a woman that's promiscuous no man wants to be with a woman who slept with everybody only time a man will accept that majority of the time is if he just want to be a part of the body count. That's it. He just want to go ahead and hit and move around. But we don't want to take you serious enough to put you in a relationship. You get me? It just is what it is. Now, let me put some data up here for you. Like I said, I would. And you know I could. All right, here we go. Now, 
Let's read this together. On average, black teenage girls have sex at a younger age than white teenage girl. Age of first intercourse. The average age of first intercourse for black participants is 15.3 years old before she turns 16. Compared to 16.2 years for white participants. So they starting earlier than white people and other people. Likelihood of having sex in adolescence. Black participants are now, this is about black women now. Black participants are 1.56 times more likely to have first intercourse in adolescence than white participants. Median age, or the average age of first sex in a sample of teenagers, the median age of first sex was 16.9 years, with black males having the lowest median at 15.0 years. In other words, Women begin to sleep with people quicker than black men, black women do. Black women engage in those activities before black men do. Now, some of you going to say, what about victims of RAPE? I did a video, go back to it, my first one, talk about Planned Parenthood. Women who go get their children terminated, only 1% of those women who go do that are victims of RAPE. Only 0.5% of women who go to get their children terminated are victims of incest, which leaves at least 98% of women out there just sleeping around without protection or an oops, whatever you want to call that. They're just sleeping with people. They're healthy, nothing wrong with them. No one has touched them. You get me? That's in our community. That's the facts. Hold on, I'll put another thing on your screen. Hope y'all doing good today. I'm doing excellent. Mm-hmm. Let me put this gentleman on the screen. Let him tell you a little story. One second. I put him up there, y'all. I'm trying to find this. All right. Let's get it. Here he is. Like, the issue with today's times is that so many women just promote sex, promiscuity, and so many men are chasing after these types of women. So it's like everybody's just hypersexual. You know, it's it's all about physicality now. And it's people lack self-discipline, sexual discipline. So that's why you see nowadays relationships just really aren't a thing. Like people just sleep with multiple people, date multiple people. People don't stay together no longer than three to six months and they on to the next. And it's it's just a very, very toxic time. Very toxic time. And I'm not saying this to be negative. It's just what I'm seeing with my eyes. You know, there are good men. There are good women. But what social media and entertainment and the things that are influencing people's mind is what's taking over. Like so many... I said that before, social media and entertainment are some of the biggest culprits as to why our young adolescents are out there sleeping with everybody. The influences. These women are very impressionable. They're not being guided at home. They're not being taught anything. They're being told through the feminist movement to do whatever you want. If it feels good, do it. So many people are influenced by social media, the music, entertainment, and it's giving birth to so many narcissistic self-centered people who don't care about nothing but themselves and i always tell men and women make sure the person you're with is not a self-centered person make sure the person you with has self-discipline has sexual discipline because if you're getting with someone who doesn't have those things they're going to cheat on you the relationship's going to end they're going to enjoy you for the time being they're going to get bored they're going to go on to the next because that's what this generation does we just go to the next or we cheat and cheat and cheat until we get caught, you know. And honestly, I mean, I'm not gonna, just going to say this generation. It's been going on, but nowadays it's just such a spotlight on it because of social media. Now, we, like I said, with it being a spotlight on everything now because of social media and stuff, we get to really, really see what's really going on out here. I mean, back in the day, they didn't have all this technology, so things that happened was more so in secrecy. Now everything's in the light, so we can really see how humanity behaves. And 
All I'm saying is don't be a follower. You don't have to conform to the ways of this society. You do not have to. You don't. You really don't have to. Bingo. <clears throat> Just giving y'all the facts. Can you dig it? I hope you can dig it because I can dig it. I'm digging it quite well. But let me put this lady up here. She's going to tell you how her being in these streets, man, being a thought, being a musty back heifer, throwing her ankles in the air, waving them like she just don't care. How it greatly impacted her marriage. Can you dig it? Because we're going to get into this right quick. Hold on right quick. So turn this down. All right, let's get it. So a lot of us grew up being very promiscuous. If you did not grow up that way, bless you. You saved yourself from so much damage. But because I grew up like that, when I got into a relationship that was actually a real relationship and now my marriage, I realized that I didn't have a desire anymore, even like for my husband. And although my husband and I would have sex, it was like really hard for me. Like I really had to push myself to go there. And it was like an internal battle I fought because I felt so bad. I'm like, am I not attracted to my husband? Like, why don't I want to have sex? Yada, yada, yada. When you sleep with a whole bunch of men as a woman, when you sleep with a whole bunch of brothers as a woman, you become desensitized to sex. You just enjoy it, but you desensitize to the ability to intertwine or connect with the man during sex when you have a lot of it. Can you dig it? In the world, we are taught that sex is better outside of marriage. Yeah. Sex with your husband when you become one with them is actually like the highest form of praise to God. Like our bodies were meant to have sex and meant to be unified with one another in deep intimacy. And this lady told me, she was like, some of you need to forgive yourself for being promiscuous. Some of you need to forgive yourself or forgive the people that have introduced you to perversion and the things that you've seen, even like as a child. Exactly. A lot of women are being turned out. That's what she mean by perversion. You know what I mean? Going to a swingers event where everybody bangs the same woman that's your woman. And you cool with it because you're going to be banging other women there at the swinger event. I ain't putting you down because I know people that do that stuff. But I want you to understand, every woman that goes to those type of things right there, she is not wife material. I, only reason why she can be married if she got a man just like her. And she still would never, ever be able to be with one man, even if she's married to a man who's in that lifestyle, that swinger lifestyle. She can't be with, even if it, she just can't, because her body is desensitized to monogamy. That's the best way to say it. When you sleep with a whole lot of different random men as a woman, your body, your soul, your mind, your emotion, your spirit becomes desensitized to a monogamous relationship. Might be a double standard when I say this, but it's the truth. A man can do that and don't have no issues. You're not men. Stop trying to be a man. I don't want men to do that to me. Well, find the right one, fool. It's just that simple. Stop moving so damn fast. Stop opening your legs so wide. Stop doing that, man. Then you might have better luck. Anyway, you let me know what you think about this um, topic. Like I say, I'll go to my first video I dropped today about planned pregnancy for more numbers about that. And I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. Y'all take it easy now, yeah? Ooh, ooh, ooh.